So I'm so proud of that project, except for one part. It's one part of that shit that make me feel like, man, that's the lamest shit I ever did in my fucking life, right? And I know this is not what a lot of people want to hear. I know I can hear my niggas up there right now like, nah, nah I don't do that, but I got to keep it 100 with y'all, right? I damn near had a relapse, right? Because y'all heard some shit that happened two, two, three weeks ago, however long it was. Y'all, y'all, y'all heard that bazooka that was dropped on the motherfucking game, right? So all of this time of me moving on my own accord, for the first time I was tested. Why am I tested? Because I got the world and I got my niggas like, what you gonna do, Cole? <laughs> my niggas like, Bit boy, I must have had a thousand missed calls. Oh my fucking God. Text flooded. I couldn't even answer my shit. Nigga, it's wartime. Boom, 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 right? <laughs> niggas want to see blood. And, and I was conflicted because, one, I know my heart. You know what I mean? And like, I know how I feel about my peers. These two niggas that I've just been blessed to even stand beside in this game, let alone chase. Chase their greatness, right? So I felt conflicted because I'm like, bro, I know I don't really feel no way. But the world want to see blood. I don't know if y'all can feel that, but the world want to see blood. So I say all of that to say, in my spirit of trying to, like, get this music out, I ain't going to lie to y'all. I moved in a way that was, that I feel, spiritually feel bad on me. Like, like I try to, like, jab my nigga back, and I try to keep it friendly. But at the end of the day, when I listen to it, and when it comes out, and I see the talk, that shit don't sit right with my spirit. That shit make me feel. That shit disrupts my fucking peace. So what I want to say right here tonight is in the midst of me doing that and, and, and that shit, trying to find a little angle and downplay this, this nigga's fucking uh, catalog and his greatness, I want to say right now tonight, how many people think Kendrick Lamar is one of the greatest motherfuckers to ever touch a fucking microphone? Dreamville, y'all love Kendrick Lamar, correct? As do I. So I just want to come up here and be like, publicly be like, bro, that was the lamest, like, goofiest shit. And it make, I say all that to say it made me feel like 10 years ago when I was moving incorrectly. And I pray that God align me back up on my purpose and on my path. You know what I mean? I pray that my nigga really didn't feel no way. And if he did, my nigga, I got my chin out. Take your best shot. I'm going to take that shit on the chin, boy. Do what you do. You know what I mean? Like, all good. Like, it's, it's love. And I pray that, you know, I pray that y'all are like, forgive a nigga for like the misstep and then, and then I can get back to my true path. Because I ain't going to lie to y'all, the past two days felt terrible. Like, it let me know how good I've been sleeping for the past 10 years. So all of that to say, man, I want to I wanna now perform the song that's a reminder to me of getting back on the right path and getting in tune with God. And the name of the song is called Love Yours. I want to do that for y'all right now. Yep, that's me. You're probably wondering how I ended up in this situation. I'm going to break it down as well as I could. Babe, I'm talking to my girl with me. This is why I love the um, the content thing and being able to be an entertainer and other facets and try to really... I always love the show Wild and Out and all types of entertainment, acting, uh, creating, like the videos I do. Because, bro, hip-hop just ain't what it used to be. <laughs> like... That essence I grew up on that I was passionate about, I'm still passionate about music. I love it. I feel it. It's there. It's alive. But, yo, the fact that Beef got so the the sport of the back and forth battle rap within the industry and the songs got so watered down to where niggas feel like, I don't want to hurt this nigga feeling and I don't want to put off this bad juju. I want to put off this bad energy. I want to put this out, this bad energy out. So, yo, to be honest, yo, I'm going to humbly bow out. I don't want to see no humbly bow out for my grace. This is my Jay-Z and, and, and Nas moment on Jay TakeOver Ether. This is my Tupac Biggie. I grew up on these niggas being in my top three my whole life. And they finally go to war. Fuck top ten, top five. These are my top three my whole life. That's why it's such a big deal, the big three discussion. Enough. How you humbly bowing out. You try to put a chink in his armor. See that shit through. And that's why he said, yo, if you come at me, I'm going to keep my chin up. And, I, and, and take your best shot. But, yo, that shit made me feel awful. This shit is negative, da-da-da. Yo, I feel you, but do that in hindsight. I feel like he should have did that a few months from now when the shit was all over with. And y'all get on TV together and make your money. But he seen... The niggas really died from this shit and all that. 
it wasn't going that direction. He, he probably just don't want it to go to no negative point. Let me just nip it in the bud now. But yo, don't humbly bow out of the sport battle when it comes to the sport of hip hop, the lyrical warfare. There's some Spartan shit. There's some, there's some war shit. You gonna bow out, bro? I'm Jamaican, bro. Like, be a, you're a Buffalo soldier. Be a fucking, fucking soldier about this shit, bro. Be milly. Move milly, son. I'm from New York. Like, move militant. Like, that wasn't militant to me to humbly bow out because it was like, don't throw Vox and hide your hand, bro. Like, you threw your shit. But he's just being an adult and mature about it. But what you think about that speech he gave? I think he's being mature. But I think that's a little too mature for the sport. Floyd Mayweather, Muhammad Ali, Kobe Bryant, Michael Jordan. These are not, they're, they're disciplined, but these are not the most mature people when it comes, they're mature when it comes to being disciplined and going to practice and going hard on their craft. They are not mature when it comes to count competitiveness. And this showed a certain level of maturity and softness in hip hop. Not calling J. Cole soft, but the soft ass baby, his baby shit soft ass approach. Let me stop. Why are we humbly bowing out a lyrical warfare with niggas that are that are going crazy, naming our songs, dissing us? Why are we humbly bowing out when we rap for decades? I'm the greatest. I'll take niggas, any niggas head off. Yo, nigga want a feature with me? That's the feature with the Grim Reaper. Then the Grim Reaper diss you, and now you humbly bowing out. As a Dreamville J. Cole fan, I, please, please explain this shit to me. I still want to... Get signed to one of these labels. I fuck with Dreamville. Don't hate me. Just explain this shit to me one day. How do you do that? When when the whole shit's about, I'm better than you. I'm the best. I'm the illest lyrically. Not at killing niggas. Lyrically, at making music. And then your opportunity come and you step back like, no, nah, no, nah, I, I, I'm the best. Just This is just too negative to show y'all how good I am. Just just appreciate how good I am without me having to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with someone in battle form. Even if that's a, the essence of hip-hop. Even if that's what what I grew up on and fell in love with. Nah, the kids this era, y'all got to watch it in this positive PC watered down way. Or maybe I'm just immature. Maybe I'm being ignorant. Y'all let me know in the comments. But watered down, bro. Nah, humbly bowing out of shit in hip-hop, yo. Hip-hop's still alive, though. Shout out J. Cole and Kendrick for keeping that shit alive, keeping the spirit and the conversation well and alive. J. Cole for dropping good music. Kendrick was dropping good music, but that right there was a W for Kendrick. Cole fans, y'all gotta pack it up in that one. That was, um, he humbly bowed out in my opinion. I mean, it, shit. It, I would've called it a fucking round one, or y'all could've called it a tie for the round one. I would've given it to Kendrick, and I would've let y'all call it a tie if you want. Cole ain't win that round. He was too hesitant in his diss. If nothing showed y'all, that response on stage just showed y'all. This is all just... You know, like, yo, don't be so hesitant. Don't pussy for the round so much. And we don't want no soft shit. This is hip hop, man. This is hip hop, baby. I don't know, but I'm from New York, nigga. I think different. And I'm an actual rapper. You know, I think like competitive, like, dog. What the fuck, nigga? Talking about you body bag, zip, body bag, nigga. Taking heads off. I'm. I'm the best. I'm a feature with me is the feature with the Reaper. You want a feature with Death, nigga? He Facetime and he say this shit on every song. He done said this shit on every song for years. It's for Kendrick to pop back out and he, Kendrick make niggas want to take their ball and go home when you on that on that yard on that recess field. Gangster, okay, fuck with y'all, man. ZZ TV.